To upload the best quality YouTube video for YouTube, what you need to do is go over to YouTube's website. They have a very useful YouTube help form, which tells you exactly their recommended upload uh, encoding settings that you should choose. So let me just open these up and we'll walk through these. So let's say that you're doing the same thing. You have a video ready to upload and encode. Um, the first thing you need to do is, first of all, go to your video editor. Um, I'm assuming here that you've already recorded your video. If you have not, then you should be recording at 1080p or at 4K. Those are the best qualities for YouTube, preferably 4K. Um, let's just assume that this is the video that you have. So what we're gonna do here is export or encode this video. So inside of my software, yours should be very similar to this. I have a export option, which gives me a lot of choices. So there's a bunch of presets here. Um, I've actually made one and I have saved it so that I can just click on it. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to customize and just show you what these options mean. Now over here on the side, all I have to do is line up the options that we have. So by default, my encoder will make it an MP4. That's the best container you wanna use for YouTube. The audio codec is also AAC, as you can tell right here. Um, and the video codec is H.264. So with mine, it lines up perfectly. Depending on the video software that you use, you should hopefully be able to choose these settings here. That's very important. Now the next thing is your frame rate. Um, basically, the higher this number is, the smoother your video will be. So 60 FPS is pretty much perfect for the human eye. Um, it's gonna be very smooth. You might wanna choose 30 or 24 for a more film-like uh, look. 60 is gonna be the smoothest quality. Because I'm making computer videos, I want my uh, frame rate to be as high as possible. So next is bitrate. It tells you over here what your bitrate should be. Now, if you're not very technical, um, you might not understand what this means. But again, basically the gist of it is the higher the number, the better quality video you're gonna have. So for me, I'm uploading in 4K. Now, you also need to look at the column specific to what you're choosing for your frame rate. If you're going with the lower number, then you should look at this left column. If you're going with the higher frame rate, then you should look at this right column. Again, for my video, I'm recording at 60 frames per second. So then I look at 4K, that's what I'm gonna upload as, and it says 53 to 68 megabits per second. I'm gonna be right at 68 because my computer and internet speed can handle that just fine. So what I'm gonna do here for data rate is enter 68,000 kilobits a second. That converts to 68 megabits per second. If you don't know how to do the math, just go to wolframalpha.com and type in 68 megabits per second or 24 megabits per second, and then say convert it to kilobits per second and it'll tell you what it is. It's pretty basic math. If you're uploading an HDR, then the bit rate will increase by quite a big margin. Um, my videos are not HDR, so I'm just gonna ignore that column. If yours are, just look at this and type in the number. So audio bit rate is almost the same. Again, we're gonna do AAC audio. Sample rate for me is 48, um, but it says the type over here, 5.1 is surround sound, stereo, two speakers, mono, one speaker, and then the bit rate for that specific type. For me, I'm gonna do 256, which is right in the middle for stereo. And again, I'm gonna choose stereo because I want it to come out of the left and right speaker channels. Then I'm gonna say okay. Um, it should be very similar for you. The last thing that I'm gonna do, your video software, depending on what you use, may do this for you. I need to scale it to a custom size. I don't want it to scale to 2048 by 1152 because that is not 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p resolution. And it's also not 3840 by 2160, which is what I wanna to upload to for 4K quality. So I'm gonna say scale to custom size. Now, this is normal 4K, but I'm gonna use what YouTube supports, which is 20, 3840 by 2160. And this is just an option for my video software. Yours probably doesn't have this, depending on what you're doing. And then you're just gonna say export. That video should come out here. And if you have a Mac, you can just do a right click, get info, or if you have a PC, there should, you should be able to right click on it and say properties. 
and you should be able to see everything about the video. So we can check it 3840 by 2160 AAC audio and H.264 perfect color profile. That's a little advanced duration, whatever uh, audio channels stereo. So that looks perfect 158 megabytes for a very short video, which means the quality is going to be really high again because we chose a very high bitrate. Then you're just going to upload your video to YouTube and make sure it turns out okay.